Claude dash dash continue. This is how you continue the last conversation that you were having with Claude inside that directory. This is not global. Everything on Claude code is directory specific. Remember that it will save you a lot of hassle and a lot of pain moments where you think everything has been deleted when it hasn't been. Same thing, Claude dash dash resume, not global, but this is your entire combo history from that directory. So if you're having 10 conversations at once with Claude code, for example, there is a way to resume any of those conversations if you have a power cut or whatever it might be. Now, the other commands that you need to know are inside Claude code itself. So you can see once you write Claude, it takes you inside Claude code inside your current directory. So before you write Claude, make sure that you CD or change directory into wherever you want to do the work. So if you're pulling from GitHub, you pull from GitHub first to a specific folder. And then from that folder, you CD into that folder and then you write Claude and then you can do slash init, which reads your code base and creates a .md summary, which will be passed to all future conversations in that directory. Again, that is not global. The way that it works with the 200k context window, which is a problem, is you can run slash compact at any time. It also does auto compact, which passes on both your .mds, your memories, all of the stuff that you've just coded to a new Claude context window. This is not a perfect system, but it's a better system than Claude desktop where there is no system and it doesn't work. 